So it's time to switch now to track and field on the Sportsmax Zone. We're four days away from the start of the Carifta Games and we continue to zone in on the teams and athletes to look out for during the Easter weekend event. On Monday's show, we learned a bit about the St. Kitts and Nevis outfit and today we focus on the host Grenada and discuss their chances of improving on the 10 medals they captured in the Bahamas last year. A massive 62-member team has been named for the Games and the athletes will be expecting to impress the local crowd. For joining us via Zoom to go in-depth on the team is head coach Wayne McSween. Good afternoon, Wayne. How are you? Carifta ready? Yes, good afternoon. We are ready. Yes, we are. All right. What's the atmosphere like, you know, in the country? Because I know, like, back in Trinidad and Tobago, where I'm from, and now, well, I could speak for Jamaica, too, when there's a big event and a lot of uh, different countries are coming in, you could sense there's a change, a bit of excitement in the atmosphere. What's it like back in Grenada? Yes, the excitement is on a high particularly because we have just celebrated our 50th year of independence. Right. And so Carifta 51 is like a connection between the two. So the hype is in the air for the Grenadian people and all the, um, the Grenadian athletes and spectators are quite hoist and ready for an exciting three-day event. And Coach, I just spoke about the 10 medals from last year. You're the man at the helm. You should know what we are going to be expecting. How are the medals looking this year? Well, hopefully, <laughs> we're hoping to double the medal count. We have our, our strength lie mostly in the, the male division, but we're expecting the girls to come quite strong. And we're looking to impress our neighbors and ourselves with like doubling the amount of medal held I received last year. Yeah, has the preparation finished or you have a bit more work to get done in time? Well, what we're doing actually now is just finessing everything. The relays in particular, we wish to get medals in every relay race we, we take part in. But um, yes, more or less, we're quite ready and we just have to execute now. That's all we do. Yeah, I want to talk to you about, about the, the size of your team, though, because um, a 62-member team is a bigger number than you would have normally had on average if you were a traveling team to somewhere else staging the, the curve to games, wouldn't it be? Yes, well, um, we since we do not have to travel or to charter a flight out, we try to have, yes, a quite larger team, not just for style to say we are representing in every event, but we, we, look, we have looked at the athlete's performance and we try to get um, satisfactory performance that will match our Caribbean patriots and try as much as possible to medal in these fields. So we are really, we have a large team, but we're hoping to medal as much as possible. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, when we had Conrad Francis in, who is your athletics boss there in, in Grenada, and he was suggesting that while there are no, like, Kirani James's or Anderson Peters or Hazelan Regis in this current roster, based on how known the athletes are, he still feels that there's some talent in this, this squad that could um, be eye-catching at, at this meet. Um, I suspect this is a, an accurate representation coming from Mr. Francis. It, it is. It actually is, yes. We do have some um, prospective medalists who we're thinking will really give us a good show. Not just the Grenadian public, but everyone uh, viewing our on the meet, we have the likes of some names, Green and Bishop and Sam. We have the Sylvester. We have the Serena. We have quite a number of them. And based on the performances at the national championships and at Intercol, we feel confident that if they really uh, re reproduce the performances they have done, we will and we should be really getting some medals in the categories. Yeah, when the Grenadians have been traditionally strong in the javelin event, I don't think there is another country with more javelin medals in the history of the uh, Carifta Games since it started back in 1972. I know that, like, Paul Phillip 
your coach there who coached Anderson Peters and so on would have done a lot of work there. Can the track and field public in the Caribbean look again to Grenada to be powerful in the javelin? Well, we hopefully, yes. We are trying to come as strong as we usually do. We have in both male and female under 20 as well as under 17. And we think we can really, really do some upset because uh, if you recall last year in the under 20, we only got bronze. This year we're hoping to, to medal double both athletes. So we're hoping based on their performances that they can reproduce it or even surpass their performances and to be medaled. Yeah. When, in the previous segment, we spoke with Rafael Govaya, who is the head coach of the Trinidad indoor hockey team, and he mentioned the consistent support that successive governments have given to Trinidad and Tobago's hockey fraternity. Um, I know that successive prime ministers in Grenada have had a lot of love for sport. Your current prime minister, Dickon Mitchell, is only 45 years old, which makes him one of the youngest prime ministers that, that we know in, in, in CARICOM. Um, can you talk to us about the the government input in your track and field program and how might this benefit the growth of the sport there? Okay, well, what I will talk about is um, the plan going forward. We have, yes, our new prime minister, he has in his manifesto made some strong suggestion of to support our athletes a little more than it has been in the past. And um, now we're looking forward to revamping our grassroots particularly with CUT and age group championships. So we're trying to build. We are approaching a new stratus where we want to build back. So we have lost the Kirani and the Anderson. They're all grown now, but we want to start building back and maintain this. The government input is where it comes to the Ministry of Sport, where we have um, the permanent secretaries and the ministers really showing interest and effort. So we're hoping that that will continue. Yeah, as we have said, as we build up to the Carifta Games, it is clear that the Jamaicans have been dominant and uh, are perennial champions. And uh, for the most part, the Bahamas have been the biggest challengers from time to time. Trinidad and Tobago and, uh, and Barbados would be among the teams challenging more. Do you fancy Grenada being at home and having the, the 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 numbers in your in your in 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 the team as in you know 62 members in the team um giving you an opportunity here to be in the top flight maybe top four top five medals hopefully um if you recall 2016 was it we were second right behind jamaica and we're hoping now again as we're back home that we will uh, remain if not first but second, or within the first three, we're hoping that the efforts that we have identified and selected is good enough. I, I feel quite confident with the performances of a number of our athletes. They would have shown that consistency and growth from last year to this year. So the confidence is there that they could actually match and surpass that of our what we refer to as our powerhouse or the stronger members there. Only time will tell, and God knows best. Yeah, two gold medals among 10 overall in your hall last year in the Bahamas. Um, but I see that based on what you're saying and what um, Athletics Chief Conrad Francis has told us a couple of weeks ago, that you're, you're building, you're trying to yeah. cement, you know, some of the talent to, to, to you know, get back um, or to get back into the level that, as you just mentioned, two years ago, finishing second in the medal table to the Jamaicans. Are there any athletes that f viewers of Sportsmax who will be watching the Carifta Games Saturday, Sunday, and Monday that you can point them to to say, well, look out for these athletes? Yes, definitely. When it comes to the 100 meters under 20 boys, look out for the likes of Emilio Bishop, Samuel Green. In the 200 meter, Ethan Sam. In the 400 meter, Josh M. Sylvester. In the 800 meter, Antoine Black Pitt and um, Tegan Peter King and so on. In the jumps under 17, look out for the likes of Christoph Kalist and so on, both long and triple jump. You know, in the javelin, Serena, um, in the shot and in the um, discus, look for the life of Brown and so on, who actually are in Jamaica right now studying and training. D'Angelo Brown and 
as the other guy. We're hoping that these names will be really, really outstanding. Kyle Ned in the huddles, a newcomer on the scene. Hopefully he can pounce. Raven Telesford and so in the javelin. Um, we're hoping that these athletes would actually do what needs to be done. They would have been working very hard. And those names are some of the names uh, Grenadian and Caribbean spectators can fix it on. And uh, Annalisa Brown, etc. And we will have a, a showdown. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I gather from what you have just stated that you will win more than the 10 medals that you won last year in the Bahamas. Oh. Hopefully, Hopefully. <laughs> I, I think Hopefully. I would. I think I would wager a bet on that to say that you will. <laughs> okay, I'll put what I have to wager. Yeah. Like, oh. Wayne, um, thanks for talking to us here, and all the best to the Spice Isle. Not only as hosts to be successful, but also to see a lot of medals coming from the home team because it's always good when the the home team can give the local fans a lot to cheer about. I know that it may be difficult for you to compete with the Bahamians cheering group. In, in the stands because we know how the Bahamians are. Uh, yeah, but but, but all, all the best and we, we wish you from the Sports Max Zone a good Carifta Games. Thank you so much. We do appreciate that. And we'll try to do our best to impress everyone. Yeah. yeah. Take care, coach. Thanks. Thank you so much. All right. Um, and it will be live on Sports Max starting Saturday, yeah. uh, live for all three days of competition at the Carifta Games. A wonderful meet. And I can guarantee that you're going to see some stars and stars of the future. Uh, being unfurled over the three days. We'll be back with more on the Sports Max Zone after this.